You're not free if you're sick and you can't get health care. Uh, part of the Democratic Party's freedom agenda should be health care for all. And as I've pointed out in, uh, on this program many times, Canada got Medicare for all as a result of one province, Saskatchewan. Tommy Douglas, uh, the, the premier of that province, saying, we're going to do it. And they did it. And then everybody else in Canada said, whoa, that's cool. You save money. Everybody gets covered. That's great. Let's do that. And it's spread across Canada. Well, if we could do that in a big state in the United States, like, say, California, can you imagine? Well, they're working on it. Erica, Erica um, Ferenstein is with us. Uh, Ferenstein is with us. She is the director of Health Care for All, the Los Angeles chapter. That's H-C-A-L-A, or H-C-A, let's say, as in Health Care for All, H-C-A-L-A.org. Uh, also, the, national, or the statewide organization is healthcareforall.org. Uh, Erica, welcome to the program. Uh, I understand that back in 2017, I remember when California was like on the verge of passing uh, single-payer health care, and one person, uh, your, your Speaker of the Assembly, uh, your equivalent of the Speaker of the House, blew it up after taking some major contributions from big insurance companies. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in that memory, and uh, where are you at right now with this, and, and uh, do you think you'll be able to overcome that same kind of you know, so-called corporate Democrat objection. Um, well, thank you, Tom, for having me on um, and helping to spread the word about this uh, seventh attempt to get single payer passed in California with AB 1400. You are absolutely correct. That bill was Senate Bill 562. Uh, it had uh, passed the state Senate. And then Anthony Rendon, who was the Speaker of the Assembly, who's still the Speaker of the Assembly, he had taken a bunch of money from the medical industrial complex and, and killed the bill. Um, but, yeah, so you are correct in that. But um, we got right back up. And by we, I mean the California Nurses Association is leading the charge again with this bill, Assembly Bill 4. The Guaranteed Health Care for All Act, affectionately known as CalCare. Um, and we're super excited about this bill. This is the state-level version of Medicare for All. Uh, it would guarantee comprehensive, high-quality health care to every California resident, regardless of age, race, sex, gender ID, immigration status, employment status, uh, marital status, um, you name it, income level, doesn't matter. Every California would receive health care as a human right, and it would lead the nation in the greater fight for health care justice. I'm assuming this is uh, not socialized medicine like they have in the United Kingdom where the government owns the hospitals and employs the doctors but rather is single-payer health care like pretty much every other developed country in the world has like Canada has uh, among others uh, and, and and that's you know basically the state of California becomes the the single-payer is that correct that is absolutely correct um, care would continue to be privately delivered as it is now, but it would be paid for through a single public program rather than the fragmented patchwork system we have now. Um, private insurance companies in California would no longer exist, and um, this would result in huge cost savings for individuals, businesses, local government, the state government, and guarantee high quality health care for every California resident. So that's right. You got so, it exactly right. So for people uh, who live in California or people who are anywhere in the country and are going to become activists and try to make their state, you know, follow your lead, um, with regard to CalCare, this, this program that you're promoting, what would be the deductibles? What would, what would it cost people every month? Um, you know, what, what does it look like? How does it work? Uh, do you have to you know, does the state determine what doctor you can go to? I mean, or how, how, play it out for me as a, you know, in, in the, in the example of, you know, if you needed health care, what do you do? What does it cost? Where do you go? How do you handle it? So, um, like, like I stated early, earlier, everybody is covered. 
um, and there would be no upfront fees. So no no deductibles, no co-pays, no out-of-network costs, no costs. You would get um, a card probably like they have in France or similar to your insurance card, and you would go to any doctor in any area that you need. So um, it's free at the point of service. Um, you would get a childcare card. <laughs> and yeah, and you're free to choose your provider. If you don't like your provider, go to another one. Um, no more insurance companies delaying and denying um, our health care and interfering between us as the patients and our doctors. Yeah, I'm already seeing, I mean, you know, somebody posted on my Twitter feed this morning some new study from some right-wing think tank about how in Canada it takes seven weeks to see a specialist. Uh, by the way, I just tried to make an appointment with a specialist. It took two and a half months, <laughs> but nonetheless, um, uh, the, you know, the war is beginning. What, what, uh, what are the contours of the war in California? How, how has the health insurance, I mean, this is a multi-billion dollar industry you're challenging, and you're the sixth largest economy in the world. Um, uh, how, are they, how are they trying to take you on? And do you think that they'll be successful in, again, bribing Anthony Rendon, your, your Speaker of the Assembly? Right. The war has begun before we had the bill. The war is always on. It's not just Anthony Rendon that's taking money. It's, you know, you can look at our governor's taking money. Pretty much every member of our California legislature has taken money. Um, the author of the bill, Ashkara and Alex Lee, they're the only two members of the California legislature I know of who haven't taken any corporate money. So if you want to look at it that way, yes, um, we're, we're outspent. Um, and this is why it's going to take people power. And Tom, we've seen this. We've seen this in Barbados. We've seen this in Honduras. We've seen it in our own country. When we fight, we win. Um, and people power can win this. But we need millions of Californians to stand up and to demand that the legislature pass this bill. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely with you. And so for people who want to uh, either A, learn more about this so they can try it in their own state, or B, support your efforts in California, what, sh what should they do? So um, we have several efforts. Um, if you live in California, we have a pre-written letter that we would like you to send your assembly member. Um, and we have on uh, January 8th, the California Nurses Association is holding a CalCare Day of Action. It's statewide. And if you're in California or outside of California, you can join CNA, the California Nurses Association sponsored phone banks, postcard writing, and to find all this information, go to our toolkit, which is a bit.ly address, all lowercase, B-I-T dot L-Y slash H-C-A-L-A -A toolkit. Again, that's bit.ly H-C-A-L-A -A toolkit. Okay, or hcla.org, right? We'll get you to the, yep. the starting point where you can go from there. Uh, yeah. Erica Ferriston. Uh, Eric, thanks so much for dropping by. And, and Erica, excuse me. And, and good luck. I, I, I wish you the very best on this. This could be a turning point for the whole country if you guys are successful. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Great to have you on the program. We will be back with more of the news of the day and your calls in just a moment, 15 minutes past the hour here on the Tom Hartman program. Stick around.